We're incredibly excited to announce the new thinkingbasketball.net. In addition to housing written content, we have a ton of metrics that I check every day when making a Thinking Basketball video or podcast. The daily player board includes our box plus minus model, as well as all of our in-house stats. You can sort by leaders, click on any number to see league-wide percentiles, and play with a ton of different data points for different players around the league. We can also visualize any of this data. For instance, if we wanted to compare leaders in shots at the rim and field goal percentage, we can quickly see there are two outliers in volume who are also above league average in efficiency, Giannis Antetokounmpo and Zion Williamson. And if I were interested in all of Zion's stats, I can quickly pull up a general overview card. We also have team stats that update daily. So if I'm making a video on the Sacramento Kings, I could quickly look up their half court offense, off ball actions, pick and roll actions, and isolation plays to get an idea of how they succeed. And sure enough, the Kings are second right now in points per play in the half court and near the top of the league in off ball efficiency. We have more historical metrics than I know what to do with, stats for teams, for series, and for players going back to 1955. 1955. So if I want to know how good Carmelo Anthony's three-year playoff stretches were as a scorer, I can pull that up in seconds and quickly see that from 2008 to 2010, he looks pretty good in the 97th percentile historically in volume and the 54th percentile in efficiency before going to New York. We now have rolling trends for players going back to 2014 thanks to Protush Hossein, who built this incredible tool along with so many of our leaderboards on the site. All of these tools that I use regularly are available to deluxe subscribers at patreon.com slash thinking basketball. If you're interested, you can sign up there and play around with this data today and throughout the NBA season.